Hello everybody and welcome back to another Toon Kind at 12 FPS. My name is Avi and I will be playing Arata Satomi and quite possibly another cast of characters, but more specifically one that I have been waiting to introduce for a uh, long while now. Um, and with me today is my wonderful, beautiful friend with amazing ideas. Ah, stop. <laughs> but, okay. Hi, hello. Uh, compliments. I was not expecting. Okay, all right. Um, hi, I am Mira. I will be playing Sammy Satomi today. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Uh, today's a uh, more interesting day because um, we are not taking place uh, in a... Uh, in Toontown, or anywhere in Einquil, in fact. Um, Sammy, uh, Arata has mentioned the, uh, the thought of going back to Yeddo to talk to, um, this, the rest of the spirit rogues in person about, uh, what to do about, um, Azumi's revival, uh, and their plan of action from here on out. Um, and uh, you've essentially uh, agreed to go back uh, with him. Is that right? Yes. He is very much not letting Arata go alone back to Yeddo, considering several things that uh, Arata has told him. Yeah. <laughs> just, 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 he is, his, his plot senses are tingling. Looks at Azumi, who is apparently not a zombie. Uh, <laughs> and... The fact that there is something coming, and Sammy does, is he is concerned. He is not wanting to let his brother out of his sight quite yet. So he's he's very much going. Okay, you're going to Yeddo. I'm going too. No ifs, ands, or buts. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, I will say, uh, Yeddo specifically, Okashima is a lot different than um, than Einquell. Um, I want to ask how how well does sammy do in especially crowd, crowded places um well he's been on the street for eight years so i feel like he would be kind of used to it but he'd also be kind of freaked out by the fact that he is amongst the crowd and amongst the crush of people kind of like WTF. <laughs> yeah. Um this this is uh this is Yeddo. Yeddo is pretty far away from Einquil, so they're not exactly used to uh seeing uh Toonkind around. So um when you um uh, when you make it to the uh teleportation station in Okashima and you guys are uh picked up by a few friends of Arada, um uh, there are a few uh, odd looks uh, tossed in your direction, but nobody really says anything because, again, you are among uh, a pretty decently sized group as um, you are escorted from the station to, essentially, a train station. Um, and you've heard Arata talk about uh, Okashima quite a bit. It is a pretty large city. Um... And, um, what makes it interesting is that it is big enough that, uh, in order to get from one district to another, uh, most people go by train. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, um, it's, it's, again, pretty crowded, um, but, uh, you are surrounded by, uh, a few of Arata's friends, until you are eventually, you eventually step off onto a uh, a station, uh, called uh, in a in a your <laughs> words. <laughs> you got this. Yeah, uh, you eventually uh stop at a uh, at a station in an area that's uh locally called uh, Sangen Jaya, um, and here, uh, you take 
a, a route that's on the streets and you find that where you're going is not that far from the station itself. In fact, you are, um, you take the sidewalks to a, an area that is more out of the way, kind of back alley, uh, until you see a, um, a, uh, a building, a very small, kind of unassuming building, um, and it's got this overhang, uh, kind of, um, I forgot what it's called. It's, it's, uh, like, one of those, like, um, overhangs that, like, uh, hang over a doorway. It's not over a patio or anything, but you see that on it is a, uh, is a print in common, uh, that says, uh, Le Gris Cafe, uh, coffee and curry. Um, mm -hmm. there is not really a, uh, a parking lot here. It is a very small cafe, um kind of uh, rustic looking um, and just from the outside looking in through the windows on the doors you can tell that it is currently pretty empty despite being open um, and yeah uh, I will say that uh, while uh, walking in the more busy thoroughfares uh sammy was holding on to arada's hand because oh dear oh <laughs> he's yeah. a little nervous yeah no worries uh arada does offer that comfort of just like making sure you're holding on to him so he doesn't lose you <laughs> and you don't lose him yep vice versa and uh sammy kind of relaxes a tiny bit when they're in the more secluded area of the cafe and then like he just kind of excitedly tugs on Arata's hand is just like Arata Arata is this is this it is yeah. this it yeah yeah and yeah. like his, is... his shading is uh from purple to yellow as like he's looking and getting more and more excited as he's asking <laughs> yeah this is this is uh Legree. um uh I uh I live here actually uh in in the attic <laughs> been a while though and he kind of like um rubs a finger uh against the side of his chin as he uh looks it over and um again he is surrounded by uh uh several of his friends uh in fact you recognize these friends of his as uh from when he'd um he'd had his birthday uh they came mm -hmm. to visit um they came to visit uh, and for a few days, and you actually had a uh, a race with one of them at one point. <laughs> Sammy's gonna want a rematch eventually. <laughs> <laughs> um, and um, and yeah, um, Arata kind of looks uh, Arata kind of looks to you, and uh, again, looking inside from the doors on the outside, uh, you do see that there is a uh. A single man behind the counter who seems to be reading a, uh, a newspaper uh, and um, when Arata looks to you it's with the expression of like okay are you ready? Uh, Sammy like takes a moment like just to like mentally check if like he is ready but like his shading is golden he's very excited for Arata to be home uh, and he just kind of like just takes stock of his emotions and gives a nod because this is Arata's territory. He is very excited to see where Arata spent a lot of his time. All right, yeah. Um, and with that, um, Arata uh opens the door and leads you inside. Um, <laughs> uh, as you walk inside, would you mind doing a perception roll? Yep, okay, let's see. What is my perception? Okay. I do a wiggle in your direction. Okay, that is a un uh, a, a modified 23. That's an impressive roll. Okay, so yeah, again, this place, this cafe looks kind of rustic. It is, again, small. There is a counter to the right, um, and you can see that, um, lining it are, like, is the cash register and a yellow, um, 
shoot, I forgot what it's called, a, a yellow phone with a with a turn dial. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, behind it, you see a display of like a bunch of different containers with different types of coffee beans. And um, you see the more kitchen area in the back. Uh, and to the left are several booths. Um, there doesn't seem to be, like, actual standalone tables. They're just booth tables. Um, mm-hmm. and, uh, towards the back you see a, um, a, a restroom area, but behind it is a little area that seems to lead upstairs. Um, and as you and the group you are with, uh, enter, uh, a bell, uh, Oh, sorry. Hang on. I forgot something. There is a, uh, there is a painting hanging on the wall right next to the door. Um, Mm -hmm. it it is a very, uh, a very, how do I explain, uh, how do I describe this painting? It is a very, um, interesting painting, uh, of what looks like a woman and a child. Uh, she seems to be carrying her baby. Um, and, um, and as you guys enter, the bell rings, catching the attention of the man behind the counter, and, hang on a second, I am going to pull up a ref that I drew today. <laughs> Where'd it go? Drum roll. Uh, and this is the, um... An older gentleman, uh, seems to be late 40s, early 50s, um, wearing an apron, uh, has a goatee, and has gotten, um, half-moon glasses, um, and he stands up, uh, and looks over the group, and, um, (laughs) uh, when he sees Arada, you are treated to a uh, to a bit of an exchange. <laughs> uh, uh, he kind of just uh, smirks at uh, at Arada, and he goes, "Well, oh, hey there, you're looking pretty sharp." And Arada retorts by saying, <laughs> "Well, you look like you got older." <laughs> and uh, this man. Uh, laughs and says, <laughs> on second thought, I guess the only thing that grew on you was your mouth. <laughs> I mean, like, actually has to turn away to, like, stop, like, like to, like, not be as obvious that he's cracking up, but he's, he is definitely cracking up. Yeah, um, uh, and so that is the introduction you are given first and foremost before anything else as the rest of the rogues uh file in and um satoru does a quick uh, head count you know saying hello to everybody and then he doesn't recognize you and he says oh there's one more of you <laughs> uh hi uh i'm <laughs> Oh wow, he's actually really nervous. Oh man, uh, uh, his shading is his shading is like the like a very light purple. Uh, Arata, you know that like you've been through heck with 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 Sammy, so you know that uh, he's not scared. He's just nervous. <laughs> Yeah, uh, like, but not in the bad way. It's just kind of like, oh, wow, this is the person that Arata talks really highly of as a parental figure? Question mark. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, Arata kind of gives you a gentle pat on the shoulder, and um, he does help with your introduction. And he says, uh, 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 "This is this is Sammy, the 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 guy I was talking about in the letters." Um, Sammy, this is, um, this is Boss, uh, well, Satoru, we call him Boss, uh, (laughs) and, uh, Satoru kind of gives you a a look over, kind of 
looks you up and down like he's trying to, like, <laughs> make a quick assessment. Uh, Sammy is definitely fidgeting by this <laughs> point, because he's like, oh man, what if, what if, what if, what if I have a, what if I'm making a bad impression? Oh no, he is very fidgety right now. Just, oh, he, I was not expecting him to be this nervous. <laughs> this is actually really cute. Um, because uh, he gives you a quick glance up and down, and then he smirks and smiles and says, well, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> uh, it's nice to meet you too. Uh, boss? That's right. He, he, kinda, he just kind of looks in between uh, Arata and uh, Satoru, just like, just... Did I do it right? Did I do it right? <laughs> yeah, Arana just gives you like two thumbs up. <laughs> You're doing amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just Sammy's just like, oh, okay, good. I'm doing good. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> like it, like that is like the clear expression on his face as the shading uh starts to edge towards more of a yellow. Cause oh, good. I'm I'm doing good. I am getting a good grade in impressing my my fr my brother's dad <laughs> with his uh understandable and okay desire to have. I can't remember the full meme, but which is a totally normal thing to want to achieve. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> and uh <laughs> something like that. Um, and, uh, I'm gonna roll a quick insight from Satoru, uh, mm -hmm. he is bad. Alright. <laughs> that was a 13. Uh, you get, basically, kind of recall from his, uh, from the letters that Arata sent that, uh, Sammy uh, would Arvada have mentioned that Sammy didn't have the best of parents, or...? Uh, if Sammy was alright with him mentioning that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think Sammy would have, I think by the time he told Arata, would have been fine. Because he, he trusts Arata and he trusts Arata's friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he would have, he would realize that, uh, Sammy, uh, didn't have the best of parents. Is probably a little nervous ab about being uh, meeting someone who is a qu 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 parental figure, quote unquote. Uh, and uh, but is also excited because he really cares about he cares about Arata. <laughs> like those are like the very clear on like hard on his sleeve, literally. Uh, things that with a 13 uh, Satoru would, Sat Satoru would get. <laughs> yeah, I think he takes a moment and like takes this in before he kind of lets out a sigh and he goes sheesh, it's like every time I close my eyes there's more of you guys here. Zebi <laughs> uh, just turns to Arata and goes no wonder we're brothers, you adopt everybody. <laughs> And Arata just kind of smiles and gives you a shrug. <laughs> and, um, uh, Satoru, uh, kind of moves, uh, like he's putting, um, putting the newspaper off to the side. Uh, and he says, why don't you guys, uh, take the upstairs room? I'm sure you got plenty to talk about. Um, and, yeah, um, the rogues are going to start f making their way upstairs. Uh, Sammy, you are welcome to, um, join them for a little bit, at least to get a peek at what, uh, Arata's room looks like. <laughs> I think he is going to want to peek at what the room is, and, like, he will nudge Arata and kind of just go, if... You need me to help explain anything. Uh, I was there too, so just give me a shout. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No worries. I think I, uh. 
I I think I got this. Okay, but my you've got to show me your room. I have been dying. <laughs> and he kind of just laughs, <laughs> and um, uh. He kind of just laughs and uh, grabs you by the hand again and takes you up the stairs. Um, and yeah, um, there's, it's a pretty, uh, well, it's an attic. Um, the, there's a bed that's been situated by the far window on the opposite mm-hmm. side from the, uh, from the staircase. Um, there's a um, there's sh- a shelf uh, with a bunch of different decorations, uh, which you recognize to be of um, well, um, Ghibli and um, you've started to notice that Ghibli and uh, Yeto tend to share some like cultural similarities, so there might be a few things that you recognize, um, mm-hmm. like um, shoot, I forgot what it's called. No. <laughs> Uh, I feel that. <laughs> yeah. In any case, you do see, like, uh, decorative ramen bowls. You see um, a few plushes and whatnot. Um, a couple of toys. Um, there is a, a, a plant that seems to be uh, lovingly taken care of um, off to the side next to the shelf. Um, and to the wall to the left is... Uh, a table and um, on it is a um, a really 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 old TV that uh, Arata has somehow managed to get to get working <laughs> um, and there is a very mm-hmm. small couch um, and uh, on the on the wall is a a red flag uh, it is a pretty large flag, and you recognize the logo on it, uh, because, uh, it is the logo of the Spirit Rogues. Sammy, like, takes one look at the, at the, um, at the flag. I couldn't remember what the word for flag was for a second. Jeez. Uh, he, like, takes one look at, uh, at the uh, at the uh, flag and uh, turns to Arata, grinning. Uh, Arata, make a deck save. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> Alright, 13 plus 6. 19. Okay, let me just really quickly. Plus 4. Ah, ah, darn it. Uh, with your 19, you magnificently dart out of the way as or, or Sammy tries and fails to get you into a headlock <laughs> to do you because he is just like, you have a flag dedicated to your own team? How? <laughs> you are such... He, he is just filled with the brotherly instinct to give you a noogie. <laughs> No, I am unnoogieable. <laughs> so, like, I just like there's a very tunish moment in a real kind space where it's just kind of like whoop, and like you're suddenly over there, and he's just like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, you you uh, you see all this, and um, again, it's a pretty cozy room. Uh, there. Oh, there is also a work desk um, near uh, the bed, and you notice that this is probably where Arada has made several thieves' tools in the past. Um, and as you look around and almost catch uh, Arada in a headlock, uh, you start to notice that some of the uh, rogues are pulling the table out so they can have like a little place where they can like gather and sit around mm-hmm. uh, for their uh, impromptu meeting mm-hmm. um, 
And yeah, you're um you're allowed to either stick around or uh head back downstairs. And give me just one second because somebody was asking me about something. Hee <laughs> <laughs> so look over nuts and bolts. There we go. Ooh, yes. Um, and, uh, yeah, uh, again, you're free to stick around up here or, um, uh, head back downstairs to the uh, cafe. Well, first, I'm gonna have Sammy roll insight to see, like, insight on Arata, just to make sure that Sammy, like, is, he's just trying to gauge how Arata's actually doing. And, like, if Arata needs Sammy to be there, even if like, he doesn't need him to, like, help pitch in, explain anything, what does a 15 get him? Okay. Uh, with a 15, um, I'm going to be real. Arata seems to be right in his element. Uh, he is back home. Uh, he is with, uh, his team. Um, and as, um... As the meeting starts to, like, um, gather together and as they begin to, like, uh, set out what looks like to be a few snacks to, as they can, like, discuss over, um, a, there's a noticeable shift where Arata kind of, like, slips out of the, uh, the carefree, um, dorky teenager, um, uh, personality you're used to seeing him with. Uh, to that more kind of a leader, leaderly role that you've noticed him take uh, when he gets, like, pretty serious. Um, like, um, during the meeting uh, with, uh, with the Virtuoso's Flourish crew, uh, mm -hmm. during, what was it, um, Under the Rug, mm -hmm. uh, he seems to be right in his element. He seems to be um, taking this in stride, I would say. Um, yeah, he's... <laughs> he... This... It's less like you're seeing Errata and more like you're seeing Trickster uh, come into mm -hmm. play. Um, because of how um, familiar this is to him. He's... Um, he is he is back as the leader of the spirit rogues so to speak mhm mm uh do, 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 brain you had a thought please come back um <laughs> same kind of Sammy kind of looks at this shift in Arata and kind of just reaches out and like, uh, it's kind of like a, he kind of like pats Arata on the back, but also kind of, uh, like very loosely, gently kind of cups his, uh, hand on the back of, uh, Arata's neck and goes, We'll I'll meet you downstairs when you're done. Okay? Yeah, um that's fine. Uh we'll we'll we probably won't take too long. Um he says not entirely sure how long this is going to take. <laughs> <laughs> he kinda grins at that and kinda bonks his head against Dorado's and goes Well you've got a lot of snacks boss down there seems like he's probably going to make curry if you guys stay super long. <laughs> so I might uh, kip down to the kitchen and see if I can help. Yeah. 
and he gives you a thumbs up, and uh, as you head back down the stairs, quite a few of the other spirit rogues actually wave uh, goodbye to you. Mm hmm. Uh, Sammy, uh, he waves back as he's heading down. Um, and then uh, I'm just gonna really quickly roll thing real quick. Okay, yeah, uh, Arata, right before you, uh, but right before Sammy like fully turns, uh, you kind of see, uh, Sammy kind of looks a little uncertain. Uh, it's very clear on his face that he... He... With that 8 that he got, uh, he is very much kind of uncertain of his place here, but he's trying to make room for you to do what you need to do. And you guys can talk about it later. He'll be fine. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I think Arata makes a note of this, and also makes a note to, um, check in on Sammy later, cause who boy? It's fine, it's just Sammy has realized that, oh, Arata has a whole entire life outside of, uh, what's been going on in Einquil. Huh. Oof. Okay. Where do I fit in? <laughs> it's gonna be okay, Sammy. I pat you gently. Like, I didn't even realize he was going to be insecure about this until he started being insecure. And I was just like, buddy, you good? Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, Like, no. he's not, he... not going to do any stink or anything. He's just a little uncertain. Um, but, yeah, you make your way, uh, downstairs. And, uh, again, it is still empty in the cafe. And, um... Sorry, I just heard the baby. <laughs> the baby. Uh, and he, uh, the, the cafe is still, um, still empty. Um, you got the impression that this is actually quite normal for Legree. Um, and, uh, boss, uh, Satoru, um, is once again behind the counter. Uh, he seems to be, uh, washing some dishes. Well, Sammy's gonna make do on what he told Arata earlier, and he's gonna approach uh, so, so, boss and uh, just kind of uh, hesitantly uh, clears his throat and goes, um, do, do you need any help at all? Uh, I, I know how to cook, so uh, if you need any help with stuff... Um, I can help with it if you need. He is still very visibly kind of thrown off kilter. Uh, that was like an eight for his like was save to see if like he would be able to like just kind of shake it off, like shake off the inkling that I was like, buddy, are you okay? And he's like, no. The dice said no. He's not really doing okay. <laughs> So it's very visible. You don't really need to roll insight that he's very much like, I am trying to just be helpful. I don't know what else to do here. Help. <laughs> oh. oh, Sammy. Oh, beloved. Oh, I love you so very much. Um, I think what Satoru ends up doing is that he looks up from what's he, what he's doing. Um, he's just washing dishes. Um... And he, uh, looks you over and he notices almost right away that you are, you sound this nervous. So I think, uh, what he ends up, um, doing is, um, uh, well, first off, he says, um, he kind of takes a deep breath and he says, Ah, oh, come on, kid. You're a guest here. I'm not gonna make you work. <laughs> But, I, can I help at all? He is very fidgety right now. He needs something to do. Help. He kind of, <laughs> he kind of, um, 
crooks an eyebrow, eyebrow uh, as he notices you fidget. And he kind of just uh, takes a moment, nods, and kind of like relents. Uh, and he goes, um, and he gestures for you to come over to the, um, uh, to the other side of the counter. Uh, and he goes, all right, why don't you wash these dishes for me? Oh, the relief on Sammy's face at, like, getting a, getting a task. <laughs> and he's just like, yeah, I can do that. I can wash dishes. That's fine. He rolls up his sleeves, uh, and gets to work. Uh, but if, uh, if, uh, Satoru, Satoru wants to roll, uh, perception while, uh, Sammy is pushing up uh, both uh, basically uh, the more skin tight uh, sleeve. Feel free. <laughs> oh boy, don't mind if I do. Okay, that was a 15. <laughs> okay, yeah, with a 15, uh, you quickly notice that, oh, hey, those rainbow freckles? Dang it, they're not rainbow freckles. <laughs> But uh, they're quickly engulfed by uh, uh, engulfed by the foam of the soap and water. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, he kind of again raises a brow at that, kind of concerned. Um, before he kind of uh, steps off to decide to let you get like full access to the sink, um, and he lets you. Uh, start washing the dishes, and he shows you where to put, uh, everything, uh, mm -hmm. when you're done with it, and, um, for a moment, he's going to step aside and to start, like, reorganizing some of the, the coffee beans off to the, uh, to the side. Mm-hmm. I, I will say, as, uh, Sammy is washing dishes, like, his, like, his, his shoulders have been slightly tense. Uh, they are definitely a lot more loose now that he has something to do. Mm -hmm. He is a helper at heart. He wants to help. That is very sweet of Sammy, and I love him so much. Um, I think, um, yeah, I think uh, a couple of minutes uh, pass by, and... Um, at some point, um, while it is more, more quiet, um, uh, S uh Satoru, uh, eventually speaks up again, uh, and he says, um, are you much of a coffee guy? Um, well, I'm more of a tea person, but that's just because culture, really. I... I'm from Ghibli, so he's really special. Um, oh, Ghibli, yeah. <laughs> Heard about that place last time I visited Einquil. That was Wait, a long time ago. You've been to Einquil? Oh, sure. How do you think I got Arata set up with the, with the people at the last one in? I know the guy. <laughs> oh, so... Okay, so you're the one who has the kid. Like, there are a few, like, there are several dots that are being connected over Sammy's brain, quite literally. Just like, oh, okay. <laughs> that part of the cover story wasn't actually cover. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just pictured there's, like, a dot, 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 light bulb. <laughs> <laughs> and I think uh, Satoru kind of chuckles at that uh, before he kind of kind of relents and he says, eh. Yeah, I, I get you, though. I Before I started up this place, I wasn't much of a coffee guy myself. I mean, Arata's uh, made me a few cups. It's... Mm. He, he, he's looking like he's choosing his words carefully. Because, A, this is, this is this, guy, this guy's means of work. And, like, like, he's trying to choose them so he doesn't offend, potentially. He's like, I think I prefer it not black. Well, to each their own. <laughs> he kind of like chuckles at that. Here, um, how about this? You finish up those dishes, 
and I'll make you a, a cup of coffee you won't forget. Sammy's immediately just like eyes emoji in <laughs> tune form, just like a oh, whoa. <laughs> yeah. I can make coffee. I can be taught by by Bayarada's parental figure. A oh, bow. <laughs> He just is like, oh, I just, I just, oh, Avi, would you let me say that Sammy kind of just does a smear frame and all of a sudden all of the dishes are sparkling clean and there's a very eager tune in front of <laughs> Satoru. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that's adorable. Yeah, I think... Uh, Satoru kind of like uh, lets out a, a, a light hearted chuckle at this and you can see that he's kind of smirking as you finish up <laughs> that uh, those dishes in a uh, in a very cartoonish smear frame <laughs> um, oh hi baby <gasps> the baby no I can't play with you right now Please, can you go to the other room? <laughs> okay. Aiden, the other it's the other way. Come on. <laughs> He's probably gonna be there for a bit. <laughs> uh huh. Uh anyway, um uh well Satoru uh Satoru kinda looks um over in your direction, he points to, um, probably, there's probably, like, a, um, a little section in the kitchen that's, um, that has, like, a kind of, a kind of a hook, and on it is an extra apron, and he points it out to you, uh, and he goes, um, you might want to put that on first. Sammy's gonna go over to the apron, put it on, and, uh, is there a sink nearby? <laughs> yes, you were washing your, your hands. Uh, well, you were washing yep. the dishes uh, at the sink. Hang on, I'm going to make sure that uh -huh. we can actually leave. Cause... No, don't touch that! Oh no! <laughs> no! <laughs> Aiden, no! Oh dear. <laughs> we bring this intermission brought to you by the baby. <laughs> <sighs> the baby do cause problems, Magic. <laughs> I say lightheartedly. <laughs> the baby do a baby thing. <laughs> the baby get into everything. <laughs> he knocked over my belongings. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Are your belongings okay? Yeah, the good thing was that they were in their like little container, so they didn't like do mm. do like too much damage. Anyway, um, yeah, uh, Sammy's just gonna really quickly wash his hands again, real quick, just because he was cleaning dishes. But that can you can be cleaning dishes, but not have your hands be clean. <laughs> yeah, no, I think Satoru definitely appreciates that. Um. So yeah, now he is all ready to go, and very sparkly, I, like, teach me the ways of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to be real, I, me, Avi, do not know much about, um, oh, coffee, yeah, mood. coffee brewing. Oh, um, mood. Uh, I am gonna roll, um, I'm just gonna roll a straight d20, because that's this man's stats, uh, to see how, uh, how easily he guides you through the steps. Mm hmm Um. <sighs> that was a nat 20. Nat 20! <laughs> I am not gonna have Sammy roll to see if he understands or not, because Satoru, Satoru explained it beautifully and Sammy's just stand like just like listening on to every word just like oh, this is so cool yeah I'm going to impress Arata <laughs> <laughs> yeah 
No, um, he talks to you about different types of, uh, bean, beans and how they, uh, how they're grinded and how, uh, the way they are grinded, uh, affects how they taste when they, when you make them into, into, like, actual drinkable coffee and whatnot. Uh, and he tells you about, like, different, um, things you can add to coffee and whatnot. Uh, and, um, eventually he encourages you to try making your own, uh, cup of coffee. Uh, do, mm-hmm. you, do you want to make, uh, you have the, uh, the cook feet, right? Chef? Yeah, I have, I have the chef cook. I have the, I have that feet, yeah. Alright. Uh, do you want to roll, what is it, survival? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because he got an uh, got a net twenty on that, uh, I would argue advantage if you need it. Okay, let's see how this first roll goes. That's a fifteen. Let's roll again just to see if anything better comes out. Nineteen. Yeah. Uh, you make um a cup of cup of coffee, and um. Uh, Satoru uh takes a sip of it and. Uh, there's a pause as he kind of, like, uh, lets the taste kind of set in, and, um, after, after a moment he kind of nods and he goes, it's not bad for your first try. Really? Oh, Sammy's beaming. (laughs) He is absolutely golden shading. Just, oh, I did good. Yay! (laughs) Very visibly in in his face. This boy is an open book. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely adorable. Like he's like looking at the beans with like sparkles and going, Okay, what can I do next? Well, you've already passed uh Satoru's first uh lesson. Um, <laughs> like the vibe that he's like, just like, okay, I did. I'm on a roll. Let's do something else. Ah. Um, let's see. Uh, it's probably been a while. Uh, by now. Um. Uh. Arata and the spirit robes have not come down yet. Um, so I think. At um, at this point, um, Satoru um, kind of starts uh, taking some of the uh, the clean plates and um, and he starts to gather some ingredients and gets to one of the pots in the the kitchen area, and um, uh, he's going to start uh, baking dinner. Uh, for the rogues. <laughs> and you are, uh, welcome to, um, to, uh, assist him. I just picture that, like, Satoru, Satoru starts making dinner and there's just, suddenly you just pan the camera over just a bit and you have Sammy just looking, looking at him going like, can I help? Can I help? <laughs> like, just, ah, uh, he's just sparkling right now. His nerves have, like, gone poof. <laughs> like, he's just like, I want to do things. I want to help. Please? And, yeah, again, you are absolutely allowed to help uh, Satoru um, uh, cook his signature curry um, and, um, as, as you guys, as you guys, um, uh, work on this curry, uh, I'm pretty sure by now Arata has told you the, uh, the recipe for it, but you start to notice that Satoru has a very, like, specific way of making it, um, Mm -hmm. and, uh, he's probably noticed that you also know this recipe because Arada's taught you it and he's just mm-hmm. kind of like he's kind of nodding like alright that's that's fine um 
what does he say? Uh, he probably says, um, has Arata ever told you the, uh, the story behind the recipe? Has Arata ever told him the story behind the recipe? <laughs> it's, it's a more personal story, so he might not have. Okay, then Sammy's gonna shake his head. No, he... Please note that he's being very careful to, like, basically match Satoru, like, for where they are in the recipe. Like, he's very, like, he is listening, but he's also just, like, very carefully doing all of the steps to, like, make sure this is perfect. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, in that case, uh, he sees you following along. Uh, and he appreciates that immensely. <laughs> um, and, um, uh, he tells you, um, well, uh, <laughs> to keep the, the long story short, I, uh, I gave, I, the first time I made curry, I gave it to this, uh, to this friend of mine she was a she was a scientist you know and um the next day she came back uh asked me all sorts of things about the the recipe i used and um you know what ingredients and uh how long i i cook these things and she came mm -hmm. back later uh with a <laughs> she called it an improved recipe so uh, this recipe right now was um, scientifically enhanced by a scientific genius. Here come the sparkles again, Sammy thinks that's really cool! <laughs> <laughs> like he's just like looking at the curry and going, whoa, this was helped design, this was designed by a scientist genius. <laughs> Wow. He's just like so awed by everything that Tataru is telling him. <laughs> and it's right there visible on his face. Yeah. <laughs> there are sparkles everywhere. <laughs> and Satoru sees this and he finds it absolutely adorable. There's no denying that. Um <laughs> as he um as he continues to work on this curry with you and um and he goes uh, well yeah um shoot what were you going to say <laughs> brain the words I feel that take all the time you need Avi uh, he kind of, um, he kind of goes, well, uh, it's one of the remaining things of her legacy now, but, uh, you know. I feel, I feel like, as soon as, uh, he says that sentence, uh, Sammy kind of stops and actually fully looks at you to listen. Uh, he kind of, again, notices this, uh, uh, he's not looking directly at you, but you could see that there is a smile on his face that is kind of, kind of wistful, kind of, kind of nostalgic, um, but, um, he continues working anyway as if he didn't notice that you are giving him full attention, um, and he goes, but, um, it's one of the few things we have to remember her by. It's not bad, huh? Oh, wow. Emotions got my throat all... What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sammy, uh, he's looking at you, Satoru, and he kind of sets the, uh, Whatever he was going to put into the curry next, uh, he puts it down. I'm picturing a vegetable. He probably was 
going to put a carrot in or something. Uh, he sets it down and uh, goes, it's really not bad. It's amazing, actually. Um, you, you must have loved her a lot. <laughs> kind of, kind of laughs at that, and he, um, he goes, "Oh, maybe." Doesn't help that she turned me down all the times I asked. <laughs> Sammy kind of laughs at that, <laughs> but I mean, she was your friend, right? You can still love a friend. That's right. And, um, do you want to roll insight? All right, let's go. Oh, come on, dice parser. Another I look game? away so you can have advantage. <laughs> hey, 15, more like it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Politely looks away. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, there is a moment um, where uh, you see Satoru um, look towards the stairs. Like, he's looking up at the room, kind of thinking about the kids that are upstairs. And, uh, Sammy, you remember that um, Satoru Ashikaga shares a last name with someone else, uh, and that would be, uh, Ichika Ashikaga, uh, who is Arata's, um, younger sister. Uh, now that you, uh, have met Satoru in person, you notice that there isn't really a lot in similarity between him and uh, Ichika. You mm. get the impression that Ichika was adopted. A, a literal light bulb goes over up above uh, Sammy's head, just bing! <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, oh... So, when are you going to adopt Arata? <laughs> that kind of... <laughs> that kind of gets him to start. <laughs> and he, uh... <laughs> he kind of looks at you surprised and goes, Jeez, kid. <laughs> They're just upstairs. So he just kind of shrugs and goes... Eh. They're a loud group. I, they're not going to hear us. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Satoru, Satoru kind of sighs, uh, and he goes, Alright, well, can you keep a secret? Sammy's already, like, leaning in, going, mm-hmm, 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 nodding very, like, enthusiastically. He's like, yes, yes, oh, is it what I think it is? Um, oh? <laughs> yeah, uh... Satoru kind of directs you to uh, keep an eye on the stove, um, and uh, as you do, he kind of steps away to pick something up from under the counter, from a shelf underneath the counter, uh, and when he comes back, he shows you what he uh, picked up, um, and it's a, it's a document, and in fact, it's a adoption papers and he goes I've actually uh, had these for uh, for a bit um baby's fine <laughs> he's he's very genuinely happy for this he's he had a niggling kind of just like ooh <laughs> inside but then he it 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 got overwhelmed by the fact that he's just like Arata's getting adopted 
Arata's gonna get adopted. <laughs> there are a few happy taps as he's watching the stove while also looking at the at the adoption papers. <laughs> uh and um yeah, uh what he was saying gosh, train of thought. What he was saying, um Satoru uh goes, Well, I've been holding on to these for, for a while, actually, you know. Trying to figure out when the uh, the best time to bring them up would be. So I figured, well, I guess it's time to to bite the bullet. So um, if you want to stick around for dinner tonight, it might it might be nice. Okay, Satoru, roll insight. All right. Okay, that was a 16. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, really quickly, I just need to really quickly roll a thing. I'm, uh, oh, okay. All right, that's a 22. Uh, you get this glimmer of that same uncertainty from before, before it is immediately wiped away into this huge grin and uh, yeah that that's 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 all you get <laughs> mira i'm shaking you <laughs> i was not expecting him to have this issue <laughs> like i was just like sitting here going bro bro why can't you just oh my gosh <sighs> i am shaking him so much right now this was not planned <laughs> This is just him with his own baggage, I guess. <laughs> I apologize. This is supposed to be fluff, and now Sammy's bringing in a bit of angst. Oh, my God. <laughs> We're going to resolve this later, I promise. <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah, yes, like, I. oh, my gosh. I'm just, I am so sorry. I was not expecting him to have this. Mm. I wasn't expecting him to have this kind of uncertainty about his place with Arata. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's all you get from uh, Sammy Sato. He's really happy for Arata and he just is grinning at you and says, Yeah, I, I'd love to stay for dinner. I can't wait to see his reaction. <laughs> And it all sounds really genuine. And I will say, aside, he is not lying when he says this. <laughs> I think He's just a little torn up inside. <laughs> I think uh, Satoru smiles. And he kind of puts moves to put the, uh, the papers away. Um, and as he does this, he kind of... Um, kind of uh, goes back... Uh, after he does this, he goes back to help you finish up with the with making dinner. Uh, mm -hmm. And he goes, um, you know, Nirana talks a lot about you in his letters. Sammy definitely starts at that, like, uh, what? Uh, at me? And he just kind of looks, and like his shading slightly, like, a very light purple. He's not really super scared. He's just, like, kind of like that, <laughs> what, what did he actually say about me? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you guys get along really well. You know. So, uh, yeah. if you guys, well, if, if you, um, ever find yourself, um, in Okashima, never again. After, sometime after this. You know, you're... You're welcome back here. Anytime. I... Thank you. Of course. That, that means a lot. Uh, but, uh, what, what, what did Arata exactly say? About me. In those letters. 
<laughs> like, like he's mainly joking, but like he's also kind of like, what did he say? Uh, <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> Satoru uh, pats your shoulder, and it's this kind of like, um, I want to be real, Sammy. It's this kind of pat that is achingly fami- familiar to uh, that kind of playful, teasing pat on the shoulder that you'd expect from like a a father figure as he kind of uh wraps an arm around your shoulders and he does (laughs) he does give you a joking rundown about how Arata just seems to gush about you okay I need to roll something really quick to see if okay Okay, yeah, he's not definitely crying. <laughs> <laughs> like he's just, just kind of just like got that like the 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 you know how in anime sometimes they've got the really watery eyes and stuff. It's a lot more comedic. Just like ah. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, and some of the things you guys get up to. That whole thing with uh, with your friend. Oh, what was that kid's name? Uh. Uh, Revan? Yeah. Uh, Sammy just kind of like has that thousand yard stare of oh yeah, all of that. (laughs) I think he, uh, I think he gets you like uh, a tissue or a napkin actually. He gets you a napkin so you can wipe the the watery eyes. (laughs) Yeah, he kind of just gently dabs at his eyes and then just goes, yeah, you doing all right? Um, just okay. Uh, let's see what you're gonna do. Uh, he kind of uh, are you gonna be vulnerable? Are you are you going to be vulnerable here, sir? <laughs> uh, he he kind of twists and twines the uh the bit of napkin around in his fingers and he uh, kind of doesn't look at you directly in the eye Satoru and he goes um in Einquil there's uh, there's uh, some paperwork that's um after I got some help from Arata about something personal. Um, We Anquil has found family paperwork. It's similar to adoption, but it's not a parent adopting someone else. It's anyone adopting anyone into we're gonna roll a now. quick history <laughs> cause he mm-hmm. has been in Einkel before oh that was a four. <laughs> oh, okay so he's just gonna kinda explain a little bit more uh, basically anyone can adopt anyone and um I asked if Arata would be okay with us adopting each other through the found family paperwork uh, and asking him for if (sighs) he kind of just pauses in size and kind of tucks the napkin uh, into like his other hand and holds out his hand for uh, Sotaro to take and says hi I'm Sammy Satomi. And there's a pause as he kind of like takes a moment to realize what this means. And then I think it finally clicks in his head why you're so nervous about being here. And the baby's whining. Uh, (laughs) Why you're so nervous about being here and why um, you seem a bit fidgety and he um he shakes your hand um sammy 
there's a moment before he <laughs> he um kind of pulls you into a one arm tug. <laughs> And he says, you don't have to worry about, sorry, the baby is making a lot of noise and I think he's trying to get his parents' attention. <laughs> <laughs> it's very distracting. <laughs> I gently pat you. Um, but um, he says, you don't, thank you, baby. <laughs> Uh, you don't have to worry about, um, about, well, having to fit in in a place like this, okay? Because, um, for one thing, I'm pretty sure Arata would kick your ass if you think <laughs> that you don't belong here. Maybe he kind of gives a little tiny, uh, weak chuckle at that because, uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Uh, and second of all, if you think the rest of these kids don't like you, well, boy do I have some use for you. <laughs> Sorry, the baby is still going. <laughs> I can't do this, give me s- <laughs> Okay. And he gives your shoulders a kind of like a gentle squeeze. <laughs> so the baby gets louder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he gives he gives your shoulders a, a gentle squeeze. Um, and he goes, um, <laughs> "If Verada's adopted you, it's probably only a matter of time before the rest adopt you too. You're one of them now, just as much as." Uh, they're your friends, too. Uh, there's a shaky breath of relief there, but he also kind of pauses and goes, I don't know if Yeto's going to accept the found family paperwork, though. That's Einquell. Uh, who cares sure. about that? <laughs> if you're family, you're family. That's the thing. No amount of paperwork's gonna gonna deny that. <laughs> look, Sammy. Sammy uh, kind of makes a kind of startled mitt and looks at Satoru. <laughs> he goes, "No matter what, <laughs> no matter what paperwork says, it's all it's all." What really matters is how you feel. Do you feel like you and Arata are brothers? There is a very definite nod, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> then it's official. It's, <sighs> it's as simple as that. You get it? Yeah. Uh, um. Thanks, boss. Uh, He's very discreetly trying to wipe away a few tears that have leaked out Aww. from this. He's, he's, oh, he's, he's feeling a lot better, but he is also, I am having emotions and they are coming out my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and then the arm that is, uh, wrapped around Sammy's shoulder kind of loosens before his hand kind of rustles your hair, even though you're taller than him. <laughs> and he goes, good. Now, don't forget it, alright? Yeah, no, I... I won't. Though, Arata's probably gonna kick my ass for... what I'd been thinking just a little bit before. <laughs> <laughs> well, not much I can do about that. No, 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 it's, it's, it's my own fault. I fell into the trap of... plot of... Oh, oh no, are I actually family? Ah, he's kind of just rubbing the bridge of his nose, kind of grumbling about plot 
that he <laughs> fell into. <laughs> And uh, I think by now, uh, dinner is mostly finished, so he turns off the stove. And I think uh, what he's going to do is um, he's going to grab a slip of paper and he's going to uh, write something down. And he's going to hand it to you and he says, um, when you're back in Einquil and if you ever need anything, even if it's just somebody to talk to... Um, Feel free to call me, all right? And on the slip of paper, he's written his name and his phone number. I am having emotion. <laughs> like, I... Congratulations, Sammy! You've been adopted by proxy! <laughs> Yay! I just, Sammy's holding the piece of paper and then very, very gently just puts it in his hammer space and then... Oh, he... He hugs you. <laughs> the room, just grabs you and hug. Full-on hug. <laughs> oh, that is adorable! Oh, oh, I cry. <laughs> I cry too. I am having emotions. Sammy's only known Sothru for a little bit. And already he's just like, yeah, nope, this is dad now. <laughs> this is my coffee dad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I think uh, by now um, you hear a bit of a commotion up the stairs as um you assume the the spirit rogues have finished their meeting and you hear from up up the stairs you hear uh, a voice call out Sataru I crave curry <laughs> as uh following uh, uh following a very eager Ichika is uh <laughs> Is the rest of the rogues as they begin to file down and <laughs> he tries to get uh, his daughter to settle down because yes they have curry ready and um it's another uh lively evening in Le uh, Legree cafe um yeah do you think this is a good place to end off unless you have something else to add I point at you. I want Arata's reaction, please. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, here's the scene. Uh, you guys have settled down um, in the cafe. Uh, it's it's a pretty big group, so you aren't, you aren't able to all sit in one booth. So, um, you're probably sitting, like, right next to Arata as, um, the rest of the rows are kind of gathered around the, the middle booth where you're sitting. Um, and a few of the rogues are uh, poking their head from the booth behind as uh, Satoru walks over and hands Arata uh, the paperwork that he showed you. I will say that Sammy is like leaning over like Arata's back and like plonking his chin on Arada's uh, shoulder <laughs> and is grinning from ear to ear. <laughs> and, um, as this happens, um, Arada reads over what the paperwork is. At first, a little bit confused, but then when it hits and he realizes what this is, <laughs> Sammy, you know insight needed. You see that he's tearing up a little bit before he kind of, uh, as gently as possible because you're on your chin is on his shoulder. He gets up and just tackles Satoru into a hug. Sammy <laughs> just kind of leans back and watches the hug happen. <laughs> And he's just, like, got a very, very rich, uh, gold but airbrushed with rose on his shading. He's just like, hmm, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, 
this dinner turns into a uh, oh, a heartwarming celebration as the two of you as the two of you plus Satoru plus um, the spirit rogues have the most lively dinner Sammy that you've probably had in a long while it is noisy there are jokes and there are there is just a good time all around as you and the spirit rogues well there really isn't much of a line defining that kind of separation anymore they kind of just accepted you i i just have this mental image of like you know how like there's, like, you know an anime where they do, the, like, the really happy screenshot, like, still frame picture moment yeah. and stuff? Where, like, everything is just going right, and it's just really great and, like, beautifully rendered and stuff, and it's just, like, kind of painted-like, almost? Like, I'm imagining it's kind of like that with, like there just being absolute chaos all around as everybody's like just in the middle of having the best night of their lives. <laughs> Absolutely. And with that, I think that's a good place to, to wrap up. This was so good. <laughs> I am I am just laying down having emotions. <laughs> And uh, thank you, everybody, for listening in, both here, live, in our audience, and in the future, who, whoever is listening to the recording. And, uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, this was a wonderful FPS, and, um, well, I, we bid you all a good time zone. Bye! Bye-bye! <laughs>